Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be reviewing two new collections from BYS. We have the Glass Glow collection and the Full Coverage collection. I'll be going over what each collection contains, letting you know how they perform and also giving you a demo. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to hear me say collection another thousand times, then let's just get into it. Let's start with the Glass Glow. So this comes with a foundation that retails for $11.95 and a lip gloss that retails for $7.95. The foundation comes with your standard 30 mils of product and the lip gloss is quite large. It comes with 5.6 mils of product. The lip gloss comes in three stunning shades. They do look quite pigmented when you swatch them on your arms, but once on the lips, they leave this beautiful light wash of color that makes your lips look super juicy. The formula is really comfortable. It's not overly sticky, and I don't find that I get those lines in between my lips after talking for a while. If you've experienced those with a bad lip gloss, then you know what I'm talking about. Now, the foundation is described to have buildable coverage that delivers a fresh and natural complexion. When I jumped online to have a look at some more information about this foundation, I was quite disappointed to find that it only comes in four shades. I was really shocked by this, so I did reach out to BYS on Instagram and ask them why there are only four shades available. I did get a reply straight away saying that she will have a chat to the product development manager when she gets back into the office on Tuesday. And so I will update you with their reply with a little video insert or down in the description box below. So I have the shade Ivory, which is the lightest shade in the range. It has a cool undertone and this foundation is actually too light for me. I'll insert a demo of me applying the foundation and you will see just how ghostly that I look. The coverage is a high medium to full and it did only take one layer to get that. I tried applying with both a brush and a sponge and I did prefer the sponge application, but I found that the foundation had a bit of a sticky, kind of tacky feeling to it. Because of this, it definitely needs to be set with powder, otherwise it does move if you happen to touch your face with your hands. It did last around seven hours on me though, looking reasonable, but it was slightly breaking up around my mustache area, which is quite common for me. I'm a bit of a sweaty Betty there, so foundations usually break up. I also found the foundation was breaking up a little bit around my hairline and my jaw. I did take a little video of what the foundation looked like after about seven hours, so I'll insert that clip here for you. Overall, for a glowy foundation, I didn't think it had an overly glowy finish. It felt kind of heavy on the skin, and especially once applying powder on top. It was a decent foundation, but not a raveable one for me, because I do have other glowy foundations in my collection that I prefer. Now, the full coverage collection comes with a foundation, concealer, powder, and some color correctors. Again, the foundation and the concealer only come in four shades and the powder comes in five. Again, the foundation comes with your standard 30 mils of product and it retails for $11.95 and everything else in the full coverage collection retails for $8.95. I tried the shade Ivory in the foundation, concealer and powder. The foundation is a little darker than Ivory in the Glass Glow foundation, but they do have the same cool undertone. This foundation is described to have a natural matte finish and it is infused with ingredients that are great for hydration. I definitely agree that this is a full coverage formula. I didn't need to use much at all and it left a nice natural matte finish as described and it didn't have that sticky tacky feeling like the Glass Glow foundation did either. I did set this foundation as well. I set all of my foundations though, so this isn't nothing new for me, but I found on areas where I only lightly set with powder, I was getting a little bit of creasing. But besides that, the longevity of this foundation was fantastic. I wore it to work one day for 11 hours and the only bit of breaking up I had was around my mustache. So it's definitely not sweat proof, but the rest of my face still looked really flawless. It wasn't looking dry or cakey. I was really impressed. 
Now onto the concealer, it did look quite dark when I swiped it onto my under eyes, but once blended out, it looked good. So it's definitely not a brightening concealer, but I could get it to blend in with my skin tone. This had a high coverage. It feels super lightweight under the eyes. It looked really fresh and natural and had a minimal creasing. The powder I was actually really impressed by. This shade is absolutely perfect for me. It does have more of a neutral undertone as opposed to cool like the rest of the collection. For a powder that has full coverage in the title, I was expecting it to be quite heavy, but it's not. It's a really nice light powder that set my foundation in place. I did try it with both the glass glow and the full coverage, and I definitely preferred it with the full coverage. I also used it with one of my favorite combinations of the Maybelline Superstay and the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, and it did the job perfectly, as good as my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. All right, let's jump into swatches of all the products. So first up, we have the Glass Glow Foundation in Ivory, the Full Coverage Foundation in Ivory, and the Full Coverage Concealer in Ivory. And then this is the yellow corrector and the green corrector. The first one here is called Glass Half Full. The one in the middle is called Rose, and that is what I have on my lips today. And the clear gloss down the end is called Glass. All right, well, that is all from me today, guys. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. I do have a whole playlist full of foundation reviews, so I will leave that linked in the description box if you wanted to go watch. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.